Hey everybody, you've probably seen a lot of filters like this one lately show up on Instagram, but how are they made? Today I'm gonna show you a in-depth tutorial on how you can make your own what character are you style Instagram filter. So we're gonna use Spark AR, let's jump right in. So this is Spark AR, the free app from Facebook. We're gonna start by clicking on blank project here to create our what character are you style filter. So once you're in Spark AR here, you'll see it opens with the preview. You've got a live face here that's gonna actually wear your effect and show you what it looks like in real time. You can actually even change this video to you know one of several different faces and you know they all kind of go through several motions that can be used in these effects. So we'll start with a random face here. And the first thing we're gonna do is create a face tracker. So you can right click up here in the scene section and click face tracker. Now the next few things that we add on are gonna be children. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have face tracker selected. Then you're gonna to wanna to add a null object and then select face tracker again and add a plane. So there you see a plane just popped up in front of the model's face. That's actually where uh, your assets are gonna show inside of your Instagram filter. So I'll pause this for a sec and I'll move this up to the forehead. So it's in more of a uh, spot you'd expect for one of these filters. You can press play again and uh, the whole animation will start looping again. So once we have these uh, objects in place up here, we can come down and go ahead and import our assets. So I've got this folder of memes and a title card that I'm gonna use for the what meme are you filter. So I'll go ahead and So as I start clicking down here, you can see in the bottom right hand corner of each effect that, or excuse me, each asset that I've added. So they're all in here. Um, all right, so, so now we need to get these assets to show on our plane that we've built above the model here. So I'm gonna click and highlight on plane up here. And then in this materials tab over here on the right side, I'll click plus. We now have a new material down on our assets folder. And I'm gonna rename this to memes. So here um, with memes selected, our material, we'll see texture here. Um, so under that, you're gonna wanna scroll past all of the assets you've already imported and click new animation sequence. That will add another section down below your assets called animation sequence. I'll change that to meme sequence. With our sequence in place here, we're now ready to move our assets on top of the material so that our memes actually show up over the model in the effect. So I'm gonna highlight all of my assets except for the title card. So go down and make sure all of these are highlighted and then grab a few extras and just making sure that my title card, that first card that we see when the effect starts is not included when I do this. So with all of these highlighted, I come up here to where it says single texture under type and I'm gonna change that to texture sequence. Then you'll see one through 24 or however many assets you have, they've now all been bundled into this one group. So I'll come back down here to my animation sequence, the meme sequence, and I'll highlight it. Then you'll see in the top right hand corner here that texture bar that we clicked before. This time you can click one through 24 at your new bundle, and there you'll see all of the assets that you brought into Spark AR are now cycling above the model's head. It's starting to look like something you can imagine seeing in Instagram. So, you know, this is cool. It's like a big first step, uh, you know, just a few clicks and it's already starting to look like a real filter. You can, um, you wanna definitely make sure that's randomized so that the user does get a random effect every time. And then under FPS, you notice it's moving pretty fast. If you wanna slow that down to like 15 or 10 or whatever it may be, feel free to do that as well. I've gone ahead and slowed mine down to 15 FPS here. So next, uh, kind of probably the most complex part of this, we're gonna create the logic that actually makes this thing work uh, when the user presses record inside of their Instagram story to start this animation sequence above their head. So this part can get a little daunting, but just follow along with me. I'm new to this too, so I'm gonna take my time and go pretty slow with it, and we'll show you all the logic you need to do this properly. 
Okay, so to start making my patch that's gonna kind of inform the logic of this thing, we'll right click on the meme sequence, animation sequence, and click create patch. So this brings the patch editor open down here. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this um, piece that it added, and I'm gonna start adding my own. So you can just right click here and um, start adding pieces to this thing. So I'll start with a runtime, and then I'm going to add an offset. And next I will add a less than. Then I will add a loop animation. Next I will add random. And then a floor. And finally, we're gonna end this with a current frame on the animation sequence, which you'll uh, get right up here on the right side. You see under advanced, there's a current frame button. I'll click that, bring it over here, and you wanna make sure that's connected to the floor. So I just wanna note here that I'm not a programmer. Um, I do not know code. I'm not super familiar with this stuff. I actually followed a tutorial myself to learn how this um, process works. And that was by a guy named Emilius VGS, who I will link down in the description. Really amazing stuff. Um, so thank you so much to the guidance I got from you. But I'm gonna do my best to explain this regardless. So essentially what this piece of our patch uh, is doing is kind of helping the effect understand um, how much time has passed once it has started. So I'm going to put four in our less than here. And that means that uh, after four seconds, the animation will stop looping and it will land on a final meme for the user. Um, under loop animation here, I'm gonna set the duration to 0.09. You wanna make sure that reset is selected. And then over here in randomize, I'm gonna set my end value to 24. It's the 24th image in my sequence. And let's see, for the start value here, we're gonna wanna delete this string right here that goes from duration to start value. And then we're gonna draw another one that goes from looped to randomize. That will allow us to edit our start value here. So we'll start at one. And now that means that when it's randomizing, it'll go from the first asset to the 24th. That's going through all of them. Um, so we're about halfway done creating this effect once we're at this point. Next, we wanna bring the camera in so we can control the effect to start when the user presses record. So I can just highlight the camera up here under the scene menu and drag it down into the patch editor. Okay, so now we're gonna make sure that it is only visible, this effect, the sequence, once we press record. So highlight your plane over here in the scene and click the little arrow next to visible that will bring a visible in here. So next we're going to connect. When you look over these arrows here, you can see there's one that says video recording. You wanna connect that to visible. And you'll notice the preview of our assets just disappeared because those are only gonna be visible when we're holding record on our camera, which we're not doing right now. So it's not in the preview. So next we're gonna drag from video recording over here to the reset arrow on offset. And when we do that, it's gonna automatically pull in this new option called pulse. So this ultimately makes sure that the image sequence both starts and restarts when we press record. Okay, so we are almost ready to get this thing into Instagram and see it in action. Next, we're just gonna create our title card and make it so that when you press record, the title card stays on screen for just a moment so people can see that this is the what meme are you effect, and then that title card will disappear and turn into the rotation of your assets. So to create that title card, we'll go back up here under the scene um, dropdown. We'll right click on our face tracker and we're gonna add another plane. So that added a plane just like we did before and we can, I'll pause this again. I'll wait till our face is looking straight. Okay, I'll pause this again, and then I will move that up to the forehead like we did before. So now 
I will go ahead and on this plane, I will add a material. So we're gonna to wanna to add a new material here. And that'll show up down here as material zero. I'm gonna rename this to title card. And then when I have my title card material selected, I'll go ahead and click texture and I will select what meme title. And now the title is showing up on our forehead. This is the first thing that users are gonna see when they open our effect. And they'll know exactly what to expect. Now we just need to add the logic for our title card with the rest of the effect and we'll be ready to go. So with plane one, that's my title card plane, and you can rename these two, it's probably a little uh, smarter to do it that way, but with our plane one selected, We'll click the arrow next to visible. And then that's gonna bring a plain one option down here into our patch editor. Now I'm gonna add two more elements down here. We're gonna do switch. I apologize, that's three more elements actually. Switch. Let's see here. Switch, okay. And then next we'll do delay. And the final one we'll do is not. Okay. So we're gonna connect our uh, turned on pulse over to turn on on switch. Then under delay, we'll change the duration to one. That means that the title card will stay on screen for one second. And then we'll connect output under delay to not and then not to plane one. So the logic here is basically saying that when you press record, we're gonna see the title card for one second before it becomes not visible. And at that point, we will change to our image sequence. So our final step here will be to add one more delay to make sure that the image sequence with the memes does not start until our title card has totally disappeared. So I'll go ahead and search for delay add that in here. Then I'll change the duration to one second to match the amount of time that my title card's gonna be on screen. And then, um, whoops, okay. So I'll delete this string that goes from video recording, put that to input under our delay, and then I'll put the output to uh, this plane zero, and that'll be not visible. So just to give you kind of another look at the logic here, we've got a lot going on, but most importantly are this runtime here. It's gonna determine a lot with uh, what's going on while the sequence is actually running. And then the camera effect that are actually controlling what happens when you press record. This line of switch logic up here is making sure that the title card stays on screen and is visible after you've pressed record. And then this second delay line of logic makes sure that the image sequence does not start until the title card has been on screen for one second. Now, there's a lot of different ways to do this stuff inside of Spark AR. This is the way I've learned this, but that's certainly not to say this is the best way or that this is the only way. It's very possible that there's you know more efficient ways of getting through this, but this is what I learned. And you know, this is how I was able to get an effect up on Instagram pretty quickly. So at this point, you are ready to try this out. This is the really exciting part where you get to go uh, you know, on your mobile device and see this thing in action, not on a model's face, but on your own face. So when you're ready to try it out and you know, it looks like your logic is all set, this button over here says test on device. Now there's a couple options this will give you. Um, if you're, I believe this works for Android and iOS, but if your device is connected to your computer, there will be an option on here to send to the Spark AR Mirror app. So that's a separate app that's available for uh, both iOS and Android. It's actually called Spark AR Player. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. But if your phone's directly connected, you can click and um, send it straight to the Spark AR Player. And there's actually instructions I'm seeing here now that um, talk about that. But probably the easiest way to do this is to just send it straight to the Instagram camera and what it'll do is actually export a version of your filter that um, then is sent to your Instagram account. You'll actually get a notification about it on Instagram. It's pretty cool. And you can click it there, accept the terms, and try out your effect. 
So let's see how this effect looks in the Instagram preview. Right, let's try this out. So it looks like it works. Um, the memes popping up on my face, the title card stayed on screen for one second and the effect started as soon as the title card went away. So our logic is sound and we're ready to export this thing. Wow, so how cool is that? We, you know, we brought our effect over to Instagram, we see that it works and now we're ready to export and uh, submit this thing for uh, featuring on Instagram. This is, you know, this is a really exciting part guys. You know, the hard work is out of the way and we're ready to, you know, spread this thing to the masses. So at this point, you know, definitely want to make sure you save. I, I didn't save once while I was working on this. It's definitely recommended that you would save multiple times. So I'll go ahead and put meme filter as the title of my project. I'm just going to save it to my documents folder. And once that's saved, um, you, you know, you have your project, you can come back to it at any time. Um, but yeah, so we can go ahead and export this thing and this will put it into the format that is fit for Instagram or Facebook camera. So one really important thing to note here is that there is a four megabyte limit if you're trying to upload these things to Instagram. It's pretty small. That's why a lot of these effects don't have a whole lot of photos. I mean, we have 24 in ours, which is pretty cool, but you'll be hard pressed to fit that many more without, you know, just compressing them to hell and back. But it looks like right here, our file size is right uh, under four megabytes on iOS, Android, and older Android devices. So we're in the green, that's great to see. Um, there's some pretty cool compression tools built into Spark AR if you need to bring your file size down or compress your images more. Thankfully this time we didn't have to use those, but they are available, so that is nice. Um, when you're done, you can just go ahead and click export here. And you know, I'll just leave it as meme filter, that's what it is and it'll export right here into my documents. And then it's pretty nice right here. It gives you an option to open up right into Spark AR Hub and that's where you can get into the submission process of actually you know, sending this thing in to be reviewed and then hopefully added to Instagram. So once you're ready to get it reviewed, there's a few more steps. You need to submit a preview of you using the effect along with an icon, a title, and a short description. It's pretty simple stuff and there's a lot of really good resources on Spark AR's website that'll tell you what exactly you need to get these things um, accepted and onto Instagram or Facebook. So I'll put some links to that stuff down in the description below. But yeah, this is essentially how you make one of these, you know, what Disney, what Pokemon, what character are you affects. It's a lot uh, simpler than I would have ever imagined. Doesn't require any code knowledge. Just follow the patch editor logic that I listed below. Get a really good, you know, group of assets together and you'll be making one of these things in no time. Um, I submitted what meme are you about a week ago and it's already up over, you know, like 40,000 uses or something in the first week, which is just incredible. It's going up every day. So um, these effects are really fun. Who knows how long this trend will hang on for, but um, you know, this is your time. So I'd say go make one. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, you know, if this helped you out, if you were able to create your own effect, please leave us a comment down below. I'd love to go try any effects that were made as a result of this tutorial. That actually sounds awesome. So I will come try your effect. Um, just let me know, but thanks so much for watching today, guys, and have a good one.